always do this. Tablet. I need to fix this color balancing because it's like. Let's see. Let's see. Turn it warmer, desaturate it a bit. Ooh, that's no. Like it's yellow. Mm. That's too blue. In fairness, this light is uh, pretty yellow. Yeah. There we go. That that looks better. Do I need to hold uh, bring me up as a reference? <laughs> Get the white and black levels correct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go grab my tablet. Oh, and uh, host. Can you also pick it up and bring it in here? Yes. That's. Okay, because you just said you were going to go grab it. For some reason I've got they might be giants in my head. The What's the name of the song? Uh No One Understands. I think. No one understands. Um, no one understands. No one understands. No one knows my I must be silent, must can, uh, must contain my secret smile, I must be something. Uh, no one knows my plan is the name of it. In particular, there's, yeah. When I made a shadow on my window shade, they called the police and testified. But they're like the people chained up in the cave, in the allegory of the people in the cave by the Greek guy. No one <laughs> understands. I love that line. It's that hilarious. Line is beautiful. <laughs> Because that is exactly like the allegory of the cave. This gentleman in shadows. Yeah, but it's it's like he doesn't. Alle it, just the. <laughs> People in the cave by the Greek guy. It's like he doesn't know what it is. It's like he knows what it is, but he doesn't know anything else about it. <laughs> Maybe he 
just forgot the Greek guy in question. He would have called it the allegory of the cave rather than the allegory of the people in the cave by that Greek guy. It's like he's grasping. It's like, what is this thing? <laughs> because the freaking playwright Sophocles keeps getting in the way whenever I'm trying to think of Socrates. Uh, it's Plato, it's actually. Plato, that gets even stupider because then I get redirected to Socrates because Plato's a student of Socrates. If Socrates even existed and wasn't just invented by Plato. Because the only things that we know about Socrates are what Plato wrote about him. So Plato made up a crazy drunken professor that got hung out with his students and got drunk. That that is a theory. Because that, that's one thing Socrates is known for. It's taking the class out to like a freaking cave and getting everybody wasted and discussing philosophy while wasted. Which is something wasted people do anyway. Oh my god. I open up Discord on my tablet. And the first thing I see is someone... They, they took the, the flatten the curve thing and they turned it into loss. I'm holding a screwdriver. Where are they? I think they're in Russia, but... I will stab Russia with a screwdriver. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take a while to do. <laughs> Stop telling me that. I hate that. <laughs> and I saw it the first millisecond you pointed it at me. And that was more than enough. Indeed, it was more than too much. <laughs> okay, so anyway, hello internet. I am like three and a half hours late. Part of that is because I was having really vivid dreams that were kind of exciting. There's like a prison break going on. I didn't want to wake up from it. And then we got really distracted discussing the allegory of the cave. No, no, the that's... That, that, we, we've been on the entire time that that's happened. <laughs> However, uh, trying to get this, the Discord overlay working again on here, that delayed me by another, like, hour and a half. Uh, for some reason, since Saturday, the overlay has not been working for me. And I feel like it's probably connected to our new internet. Yeah, I think it's fibrosis. But I'm not sure in what way. Like, we got a new gateway. So, you know, all the new configuration that goes with that. But I opened all kinds of ports, I even DMZ'd this computer, and it still didn't work. And that North Korea won't stop calling. Things I've read about uh, in trying to research this suggested it might be a DNS issue, but I, and like suggested and even said it worked for them, changing from their ISP's DNS to the Google public DNS. That somehow worked for them, and I don't know why or how, but I don't really trust myself to make that kind of change, and I couldn't find that setting in the, the, the gateway anyway, so I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know what the problem is, so I, I just submitted a ticket, and hopefully they'll get back to me, and I'll have that fixed sometime soon. Sometime this week. Who'd you submit the ticket to? Discord. Okay. 
It's like Discord or PC. I submitted it to Discord. Because at the very least, they should know what sort of, like, what sort of stuff their app needs, like, what what ports and whatever they need to have open and stuff. And they've probably dealt with it before across many different sorts of situations. Where, whereas OEC is probably just going to be like, ah, what's Discord? Yeah, you want to just tell the Discord, be like, hey guys, uh, for some reason your hardware is refusing to forward the, this sort of data on, I think, these ports? Do I just work on these? Of course, it could also just be the Windows firewall acting up. Uh, a case of like, hey, you're on a new network, let's give you some entirely new uh, configuration for that network. It's got the same name, though. No, it doesn't. It doesn't have the same name. Okay, my computer is just being screwy as balls because it still it still says respond response. That's the name. That's the name of the wireless access point. That's what it's calling the twisted pair connection as well. That's weird. Exceedingly. Because <laughs> you're not even touching the wireless access point. I mean, I can. You can. I mean, they're both connected to it, but. Usually tell it not to because why? Yeah, you 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 have the the Ethernet connection right there. I just also have an antenna, so it sees them both and everything else. And while technically they're the same network, respond respond is just the name of the access point. Currently connected to respond <laughs> access type local area connection. I don't know why it why it does that, but anyway, uh, I appear to have gotten the automated response from them already. Hopefully, they will give an actual response soon, and I'll have a solution before the end of the week. I hope. Uh, anyway. 5.39 p.m. Monday, March 23rd, 2020. I'm Mark Amsray, DJ Amstrak. I'm holding court. That's Daniel. He is causing mischief. Technically, he's at work. Though I think he's on a break because he appears to be... He appeared to be watching a, uh, a, a, a VOD or a YouTube video or something. Oh, that was, that was from, like, lunch. Those hitches. What I was doing was looking at my, uh, looking at the local Wi-Fi network. I see Nacho Wi-Fi is still around. <laughs> I missed the FBI bar. It was so that was really funny. <laughs> Flowers by Irene. So, uh, yeah, Dishonored Two. I need to butts with the overlay to account for the lack of uh... <laughs> Yume Aniki <laughs> sorry I was yes <laughs> a dream of Big Brother <laughs> <laughs> oh no I believe I've heard girls tittering at that vision <laughs> And the game takes forever to load. Oh, not clams. 
Never clams. Post clams for payment. Mods are asleep. Post, Post clams. clams. I was just about to say that. Get out of my head, sir. <laughs> I was just trying to fish up the phrase, mods are asleep. <laughs> oh boy. And before chat starts spamming it as clam gifts. If only anybody was watching. Tear. Yeah, someone was. I, I, I'm not sure. Was. I, I'm not sure he was. I think he was just responding to the chat. They're just like, but they're just like the people in the cave, in the allegory of the people in the cave by the Greek guy. No one understands. No one knows my plans. I must be silent. Must go. Something, something, da 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 da. Actually, the name Dishonored makes me think of, like, cutting oneself on a damaged plate. Huh? Dish. Oh, no. Red. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Although, similarly, whenever I go to make the, uh, the Twitter posts for for the stream for this. Uh, in digging up the image that I post it with, like the the, the file name is dishonored to dash title dot jpeg or pig or one of those two. But you know, you, you don't have to type the whole thing before the uh, before it narrows it down to a very small number of files. So I typically just type dishub. <laughs> Tano, we are devastated since our Alexi's death, but we found some comfort, comfort knowing you managed to escape and that there may be hope yet for Dunwall and our Empress. Thank you for your kind words. We're ashamed to say we won't wait for your return, though. One morning, all the bread in Gideon's bakery was turned to ashes. On another, the wool yarns in my haberdasher shop were full of snails and slugs. There's a curse on the city, and I'm not even talking about the Hatter Gang who now rules our streets. Anyway, we're returning to our old home in Potterstead, where Alexi grew up. Good luck to you, Polina Mayhew. My lungs are still burning. I thought the coughing wouldn't stop. Megan's fermented shark broth helped a bit. Batista was in, wor in worse shape than I thought. The dust district, they call it. But the problem isn't just, ba just the bad air. It's the stress of living in constant fear. Constant danger from the fighting between the Howlers and the Overseers. Now that I've gotten rid of Liam Byrne and Paolo, I'm hoping things will be a little quieter. Both men were willing to sacrifice the lives of everyone in the district for power so they both deserved what they got. But I still don't feel good about it. This is where I grew up. My home. Duke Luca of Bell is going to pay. Delilah's secret. Aramis Stilton never meant to get caught up in all this, but he played a key role. He supplied the Duke's inner circle with a place to hatch their greatest scheme. 
In Stilton's home, I could see both the past and the present. I watched a seance during which Delilah Copperspoon's spirit was brought out of the void, where she was trapped, and into our world. I saw the witch Brianna Ashworth bind Delilah's spirit to an effigy made of bone, which was then given to Duke Abel to guard. This is the secret to Delilah's immortality. It is also the secret to her, to her undoing. I just haven't worked out all the details yet. Yep. Uh, a, a witch lich. A witch. Witch. Yes. Well, I, I did say the word haberdashery not too long ago, so that's probably why it was there. <laughs> living in a palace and sucking the marrow out of the same people who built it. <sighs> he could always count on the backing of Dunwall's finances and navy. Maybe without that, he would have developed a healthy respect for the people of Sir Kornos. The fear of the executioner's block has been a fine motivator for many a ruler. in the middle. Yes, it's at the front. Now we're going after the one who started it all. The Duke himself. I forgot the thrill of it. Planning drop-off points. Picking the approach. Thinking about the best ways to kill somebody who lives behind high walls. under a leaky awning as long as she was there with me. 
sharing a tin of potted meat or a bottle of brandy. We nick during the day. The Duke and his little brother came through Dunwall. And Deirdre and I got in their way as they stepped out of their fancy coach. The Duke goaded his brother, calling us wharf roaches. And it was the brother who swung the stick that killed her. Splitting her skull, there were wooden gazelles on top of the coach. And I snapped one off and drove it into his eye as deep as it would go. Deirdre was already gone. That is a door now. Lying in the muck, staring up at the gray Dunwall sky. On the run after that, I was hunted by the City Watch and even members of the Grand Guard up from Zirkonos. People looked at me like I was cursed, spitting whenever I got close. Everyone knew I'd bring trouble. Even the gangs. The Duke's brother has been dead for a long time. But now was my chance to get back at Luca Abel for setting him off against pretty, young Deirdre. Nothing was the same for me after they took her away. Are you ready for this? I've broken into palaces before. They're made to keep out armies. Stopping a single man who's dedicated to his cause, that's another story altogether. Taking down Duke Abel is only part of the puzzle. You've also got to find whatever it is he's keeping for Delilah. You were cryptic about what you gleaned from visiting the Dust District, which is fine. The world is better with a hint of mystery. But once you're inside the Grand Palace, whatever you do could affect things in Karnaka for years to come. Remember that. I'll see what I can do. I know things in Karnaka are fragile. Emily and I have a lot to think about after all this is done. some help to you. It's good to feel useful here near the end of my time. Should we head toward the palace? Let's go. The Duke has a lookalike body double, meant to confuse assassins. A friend of mine washes the linens and said the double is a smoker, if that helps. 
Maybe you can talk to him. She says he's a nice guy. What a shitty job, pretending to be a tyrant like Duke Luca Abel. Why don't they just overthrow him? He's got an army, control of the mines, and he's had your support from the capital. At the Duke's parties, people carve up the country while eating boiled crab. There were parties like that in Dunwall. Toadies sucking up to Emily made me want to be back on the streets in Circonos. You're forgetting what that's like. I watched those party lights from the roof of the abandoned butcher shop where I slept. In the flooded district. I know you struggled. After years of court, I'm a nobody again. But what I've seen here will stay with me when I return to Dunwall Tower. Being in Karnaka again has given me perspective. Good. After you've eliminated the Duke, find what he's holding for Delilah and take it. When you're finished, I'll pick you up in the skiff. Fresh cheese bags. <laughs> the delay getting it to the shop. Betty afraid we'll get caught. The guy that runs the shop is nervous. But if they just let us move it straight off the boat. Now, I got a friend over at the shop. Been running protection for black market shops for years here in Karnaka and over Cobra. So there's basically no risk. What's your friend's name? Uh -huh. That's a secret. These guys deal with me and nobody else. Job security. times I thought about leaving this place.
it's getting hard to breathe around here. You don't belong here any more than I do, do you? You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here, in some rocks behind a fountain. People have always left offerings there. That's where I started having those odd dreams. I don't go there anymore, but you might want to check it out. See you sometime. I didn't see that there. I tried living up in Driscoll for a while. Too damn cold. Shitty food. So many people trying to get away from Garnaca now. But where are you gonna go? There's money here, even if it's dirty. Make it through this shift, and I can go and have a mug of. 
something at the pub and feel a little like myself. Yesterday, and I think I'll give it up for good. Better off in the void. You're a good one. You know, there's a place near here. See you sometime. change. The Duke's given the Grand Guard leeway to create new fees when needed. You know who else had a nice shop? That clockmaker. Serafina? Her shop burned down. Yeah, my report said it was probably the Howlers, but no one knows how the fire started. Captain, her brother died in that fire. Asleep inside, drunk from what I remember. You've got until tomorrow to pay up. stung to death, so disfigured, blood flying nests all around them. Horrible. Hold on! What? I, I don't want to die. 
Guards! Someone! Let's see. What was it? <sighs> Let's have a look around. <clears throat> please, please don't hurt. I wonder who that was. Right again. Drunk from what I was. You got until tomorrow to pay up. Mm. Oh, no, no, you bastard. Hey. What happened here? Huh? A body? Here? What? Huh? what? Okay, so that wasn't a good place to hide the body. <laughs> good to know. I can do something about that, though. at a nice shop that clock Serafina her shop burned down yeah my report said it was probably the howlers but no one knows how the fire started captain her brother died in that fire sleep inside drunk from what I remember you've got until tomorrow to pay up Knows what's happened. Could be anything. See, see, I told you. Damn it. Dear brother, are you serious? How are you able to run a safe and vault business if you can't even remember a simple three-digit combination? 
I set the back alley gate code to your birthday, and you thought it was your wedding anniversary. I set it to your wedding anniversary, and you thought it was grandfather's age. I set it to grandfather's age, and you thought it was mother's street address. What kind of advice are you giving to your customers for their combinations, I wonder? It's a miracle anybody in this city manages to open one of your safes again after locking them. Anyway, since you leave me no choice, here's the gate combination written in colored ink, which isn't cheap. 033. Bring the note with you when you come to my shop, and I'll make sure it gets burned. And no, I won't leave the gate open. I can't risk having the curious peek inside at my little business. Ricardo. I need more drink. I'll be right back. there. You find yourself in the most reputable safe shop in Karnaka. I'm not supposed to say so, but the Duke's cousin got his safes here. Please, that part of the shop is off limits. See, oh, I no, told no, you. you bastard. It was Damn. fooling around. Now we're getting somewhere. Outsider's crooked cock. Good to me. Damn 
it. Remember to close the gate behind you after each delivery. If you need the code, speak to me directly or to Carlos Marletto at Winslow Safe Company next door. Either you have the code, or I assume something's off. My boss's orders. Didn't open the store. You know I will do this. You're wasting time. Sure, there's always been blood flies. I just don't remember it being so many of them, and so big. time dock your boat in a different place. You've started to attract unwanted attention. The Grand Guard have doubled their patrol since the Duke's last decree, so we got to be I got thrown around by the Grand Guard yesterday like a sack of flour. Tenth of rain. I found a sailor dead in the street. Dragged her to an alley to check for loot. Don't know what killed her, but it wasn't thieves, since her pockets was full of coins and other things. The vest was two nice pieces of whalebone. I made sure I soaked them good in her blood, just like my mother showed me when she had the black bone charm before me. Twelfth of rain. I took out the black charm and strung it around my neck, hanging between my paps. Started carving on one of them whalebones from the sailor, and it's eager for work. Too eager. So I speak to it. Calm it. Gets to be patient, I say. Thirteenth of rain. Once that whalebone was still, I carved a curse round one side, then a sweet tempter on the other. Took me a good long time, too. It's my mother's black bone charm that makes it all work. Got warm to the touch and started to sing while I was working. This new bit of whalebone is sure special. Strong. Fetch a good price from a street boss or smuggler. Fifteenth of rain. My little charm is done. It'll make a gambler drunk with luck. Walk away a winner every time. Though each night spent at the tables, the price is paid. Eyes going milky bit by bit, till they're all boiled up like eggs. You're back. 
back at the heart of your homeland. A bigger, better palace than the one you sailed away from so long ago. Feeling nostalgic? Will you ever be comfortable in Dunwall again? Assuming you make it back? You've seen the suffering here, the decay, but, dear Corvo, would you even have lifted a finger if the Duke hadn't put Emily in harm's way? Be honest now. In any case, I know what you're after. The heart you carry can only hold one spirit at a time. So, if you want to walk out with a piece of Delilah, you better be ready to leave something behind. What's going on here? What's
think you're going? I, I don't want to die. You think you look tough, hiding your face? Why did that happen? Feel free to browse my offerings. I am proud to say we are still open and fully stocked despite the recent incidents at other shops. <clears throat> this is what I have for upgrading your equipment. Don't remember it being so many of them and so big.
A pleasure to do business. Tonight, I'm gonna trade in some wages for a bottle of whiskey. Maybe try my luck at dice. I wonder if we'll have a visit from the new Empress, Delilah. Kanaka could be her summer residence. Perhaps I should close the shop until the dust settles. That's what I oh, wanted. This is the kind of luck I have. Guard oh. blasted wind. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Dowd stared at the blade. The plan had gone perfectly, even better than he could have hoped. In fact, the whole thing had been too easy. But now that was over, he felt hollow, and there was nothing in the world that could fill him again. He knew it with a certainty that scared him. Billy called from the next room. Boss? Leave me. He nudged the door closed before she could say anything else. He trusted her more than any of them, but he didn't feel like talking. Cleaning the blood from the blade, he studied the marks it made on the cloth. Royal blood, but it looked the same as any he'd seen before. Weren't the High and Mighty supposed to be filled with something different? Something better? Dowd was tired. No amount of blood could change the way he felt. He didn't drink as a general rule, and sex had never interested him. Interested him. He felt a kind of exhaustion that couldn't be soothed away. A smile crept across his mouth. The knife of Dunwall exhausted. And yet something else. What was it he was feeling exactly? He look, he'd looked into Jessamine Caldwin's eyes at the moment her life slipped away, and in that moment, a thought occurred to him. He'd made a mistake. He'd been misled. That kind of thinking was useless. She was just as dead, whether he regretted it or not. But he'd seen his true face reflected in her eyes, seen himself for what he really was. Not a renowned assassin, not some great shaper of history. Just another playing piece in an unknowable game. Dear Alfred, I received the book, a good find, but I must admit I have my doubts regarding the historical value of the work. The knife of Dunwall feeling remorse about killing the tyrant Jessamine? As I write, I'm staring at his portrait, and I suspect that Dowd always knew destiny was guiding his hand, firm and unforgiving. Anyway, the book was an entertaining read, so thank you again. Keep sending me all the information you can find about this mysterious figure we both admire. Your friend, Claudia. Definitely watching. Try that again. directly at the guy. Can I read? 
course I can read. What does he think? I'm stupid. But I know all my letters and then some. The operator of this vessel, this is official notification that your cargo has been seized by the Grand Guard for failure to pay the docking tariffs and, and other fines you owe. If you come up with the coin, you'll find my associate and me in an apartment just before the Wall of Light checkpoint on the way to the Grand Palace. Look for the target mannequins on the balcony. Better hurry, though. After a period of a few days, your goods will be sold to cover our expenses. Corporal Rivera Ferros, Rancer Company.
Who's that? Hey, never mind. Try that again. you disappeared to? Something feels wrong. Mother, please don't be angry and hear me out. I know it's you who's been coming to my apartment to straighten up. I'm sure you mean well, but please stop. Anyway, I've made up my mind to move to the Dust District. That way I can be closer to those I'm helping. For other reasons, too, that I won't mention now because of how it might upset you. Anyway, it's unlikely I'll ever return to the Palace District. I'll have someone sell my apartment here along with the furniture. I know this isn't what you wanted for me, but it's who I am, and... Don't waste any more of your time matchmaking. I do not wish to marry. None of this is meant to make you feel badly. Please try to understand. All my love. Lisa.
Yes, Y's and Z. Now I got my A's and Z's. Tell me what you think of me. It's seven, and I'm really freaking hungry, so... Even though I haven't been on for all that long, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right now. I did get a really late start. Uh, I'm hungry. Yeah, you were asleep for a long time. Uh-huh. What? Oh. Anyway, I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully on time. Uh... Which is... Uh, on time is 3 p.m. Eastern. And I'll be continuing this. Good night. See y'all next time.